got the big rider truck and lift gate. These guys came out and did a great job. Oh, watch that step. Here they come with some of the boxes. All right. Getting all done? Yes, sir. Delivery guys. Hey. Hey. <laughs> How'd it go? Uh, pretty good. Just a little heavy, but we got her done. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> Had to take it up these stairs. Here are the boxes. How you doing? Good, how are you? How you doing? Good. We're just trying to get all this videotape. Boy, you had to take them down them stairs. That was pretty hard, huh? Yes, sir. Not too hard. But no? You, got it you sure did. Thank you so much for your help. No problem, no problem. This is great. Yeah, old, old audio files can't, can't do a whole lot. We're hauling speakers. Certainly not me. All right, down these long stairs. Whew. And this is this is Jim. Say hi, Jim. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Jim doesn't want to be on camera, but that's all right. We're gonna. So and Chris, you're back. I'm back. All right. I'm here. Okay. Well, let's get this show on the road. Yeah. I, we were just looking around at his rails. Those are. Those are some nice. This is a very nice. It's it's rather dead sounding acoustically. Yeah, yeah. It could probably use a little bit more That's diffusion good. rather than. Yeah. Well, we were talking about the because uh, I I had done some work in the home high end home theater custom integration world. So how it interacts with the room is pretty important. Yeah. And um, and so it is a little, um, you know I would. It, you, it's all currently all absorption here rather than diffusion, and right. so um, one of the important things for the sense of spaciousness is, um, you know, also the power requirements go up a little bit as you damp the reverberant sure. field of the room more. So typically, you want to have a balance of, um, d you know, diffusion and absorption. Um, it, it's a little room dependent, but uh, especially the the sidewall reflections, the lateral reflections are important for the sense of width and spaciousness of two channels. So mm -hmm. if I were going to do one thing just off the bat without having listened yet, uh, just looking at stuff, which is not how you normally do it, but would be that, you know, maybe, um, you know, one or two of these, these, um, four inch rock bowl. Well, um, let me just and, interject, yeah, uh, that yeah. when you say without, uh, just by looking yeah. one thing, and, and this is for our audience, yeah. one, one thing that both you and I did when we walked in is we did more than just look, I didn't actually look, I yeah. just started talking and well, the can, first thing I heard yeah, and yeah. the first thing you heard, cause I know how you, yeah. uh, is, is that it's, it's way damped in here, yeah, just, which is, it, which is fine for, you know, some things, but not not perfect for the two channel experience yeah, right it's a very quiet room which is great too, yeah because you know having that dynamic range you know having a nice quiet room mm -hmm. is great and it's it's been it's beautiful room very comfortable um you know sometimes it's even a little more comfortable um if you know your speed you don't feel like you're inside your head as much if it's there's a little more reverberant sure feel the room it's, it's kind of like stepping into an anechoic chamber is kind of an odd feeling because you can hear your heartbeat mm -hmm. or something because you, you don't hear all the room stuff around right. you um so yeah, maybe um, one of the things we can consult with you down the road on, and we can still get a great sound in here, but would be to get the contribution from the room as far as these sidewall reflections and things to get right. that sense of ambience and stuff. Um, yeah. So why why would we be so far into the room with the speaker as a starting point? Um, well, being this is a dedicated room, and you don't have to have a cosmetic consideration. You're just going for maximum performance. Right. Um, you want to separate the direct sound coming from the speaker and the reflected sound off the walls in time from one another because this can um, cause a couple of things. One is it can smear imaging and localization because if it's really close to a side wall or a front wall, um, your brain essentially hears those, the direct sound from the speaker and the reflection off the wall as the same acoustic event, mm -hmm. but they're coming from different places and they have um, interference with one another so um, you lose some spatial cues and it can hurt the tonality of the speaker some. Uh, the other thing is at, it, at the base, the, the, the speaker's producing a sphere of sound in all directions. So the closer you get it to side walls and the front wall, you start lifting up the lower frequencies, lower mid-range of, of the human voice and the bass. And so you, there's a, you also can get cancellations in that range from interference of the boundaries. So placement, 
placement relative to the boundaries is important. We just got to work it into the, to get the right tonal balance and the right sure. stuff. So we're just going to kind of start a little ways in and then if we feel like it's too thin in the low mid range, we can get closer to the boundaries. Do okay. you, do you th so this is where you're thinking to start? Because they, they look a little far apart just yeah. visually. Yeah. So we're, what are you thinking? We're a little, we could go in a little more. We're about just outside of an equilateral triangle right now. Well, you've got the money seat yeah. right there, so. Yeah, I mean, we could come in a we're, little bit. We're right at 95 inches from that back wall. Oh, right this is there. one hell of a money seat. Yeah, no kidding, this guy knows, Jim, knows this how is, to do it. Uh, no, shh. Let me, let me uh, see no how far apart we are from one another. We are. This actually, it's sitting here, Chris, this, this isn't bad. This is 78, can, can you hold a hand up there for a second? Let me zap you. I okay. swear I didn't do it. Okay, so we're this, we're <laughs> equidistant between. One more time, can you can I zap you? Oh, hold on. Oh, 95, yeah. For, I'm just holding it loose. So it's 78. Speak. So normally you want to be, as a starting point, just outside of like what an equilateral triangle would be okay. like, maybe 20%. Um, we're close to that right now. Okay. But, but there's a few factors when you when you get speakers closer to one another, they actually couple in the low mid some. Yeah, which it, 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 this, that's how we adjust the mid base. Yeah. Okay, is by pulling them closer together and farther apart. It, it also affects we'll imaging you. and center image and all that stuff. So yeah. there's a few things that you're doing there. Okay. You're doing. We can come in a few inches and then. I, always that, pull my it. sense, you know, just from having done this a couple of times. Yeah, let me uh, let me do something like this. Yeah, and just get get her in a few but inches. Let's 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 not do it too much cuz I I think I'd like to, I'd like for Jim to be able to hear what it is we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to put the top tops on here. Okay. If that's okay. Do you need do you need a hand? Oh no, it's okay. These are these aren't too heavy. The oh. the bottoms are heavy. Yeah. Chris lifts weights for fun. <laughs> Unfortunately. He he looks uh, pretty muscular. I know <laughs> somebody on the forum says, "Boy, I wouldn't want to piss him off." <laughs> they were That was the funniest <laughs> thing about your last forum post with me and it is, is there's a few comments about like, do you get them from the Denver Broncos? Well, or we had a real wide no, angle those, lens. Those are you know, actually kind of because I was thinking, out. you know, five feet maybe, you know, but yeah, it's five, it's five. It's five. They're five. They're sixty inches to the top here, okay. so wow. we're, uh, you know, we're, we're we're there. Can we can we start with the subs off though? Absolutely. Is, is that okay? Yeah. You all right with that, Chris? Yeah. 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 I'd like to start with the subs off. I'll just turn them. It'll be kind of fun once we get yeah. it going. Yeah. Maybe you could pull the grill on. Yeah. Right for me. Okay, they are off. Click it right in, just yeah, yeah. downtown. Let me uh, connect these jumpers. Okay. So, it stops. Okay. Um, in a room like this where it, there's a lot of damping at high frequency, I think we're probably going to want these all the way up. Okay. Because I mean, uh, from a 10 kilohertz standpoint, there's a lot of absorption way up there at high right. frequency. And this is kind of a correction for that. It's room dependent. Okay. I think this is a room where we can actually benefit from from this being here, basically. Okay. Uh, now, and if the room becomes more live down the road, you, you may just want to tick that down a notch or two, depending okay. on your preference. Yeah. But um, but it's basically a, um, you know, just rooms vary in their high frequency absorption somewhat, depending on furnishings, and, and this is a way to adjust for that a little bit. Okay. So you, yep, we're going to do the same. I just wanted to see, <laughs> learn from your experience there. Uh, I like these cables, though. They're, they're pretty careful with all this stuff. Uh-oh, okay. Definitely got to dust it off before we start tuning them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Let me just check. Can you sit down for me and just kind of get your, your ear height? I just want to see where you're at to the floor. That's very typical. Okay. So you're, you're, uh, are you couple, checking for earwax or what are well, we no, doing? No, just because, you know, this is on a, he's on a little riser and <laughs> no, I just want to see where kidding. he is. Because we can rake the speakers a little bit. Sure. But you're at 42 inches, so I don't, you're a little taller than, because of this riser than some people, so I don't even know if we need to do that. And I just wanted to check. Okay. That's yeah. that's kind of the way I reason I, I this too was yeah. I thought well I don't really need to have a thing if I want to get the yeah. you know butt kicker but but it's just the other speakers it was the off axis mm -hmm. if I was if I was down lower which that chair was where this one is yeah. um, 
and I, I noticed it more like if I was, you know, if I'd get up like that, I'd, I'd notice a difference in the sound. It's yeah. Like, yeah, you know, with every speaker that has non-coincident mid and tweeter, there is a, a lobe, so there's a cancellation between the two. Mm. Um, just because they're different points in space, so there's places where they combine and places where they cancel. So this, it's at, pointed at the floor. So okay. seated to standing is, is smoother when you have the mid on top like this. Okay. Um, but you may find, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll check it out. We may find we can rake them forward a, a degree or two and see if you like it better. Yeah. Um, it's pretty subtle, but it, it, it you know, addresses the region in where your ear is most sensitive in the crossover and stuff. Okay. Yeah. A collection of information Tethered to a point in time My ego tells me who I am Where I have to be and why You think you know me But what if all my art has been a lie? Well, for a, just for getting started, it's pretty good. Yeah, we got a good <laughs> starting point. I mean, just right there, it's pretty darn good. Now, it's some of the ringing that we would normally associate with all that's kind of gone. Yeah, there's kind of a space around the speaker thing that that is part of the disappearing act yeah. that that two channel can do if it's if you're getting it super dialed and mm -hmm. and so having a having these lateral reflections is part of part of that sense of width and. Let me check a couple of yeah, other tracks. Kind of here. That spaciousness. Okay. Yeah. I am the bluebird singing my song. I am the rose in bloom. I am the villain of somebody's life. You sure hear the warehouse? I've tried to reconcile all of the lies. It's a nice quiet room. You know, it's a lot of specificity in the sound already. You know. Who oh, did I? I have told. Helps when my wife's not here too. Spectrum of light on the wall. Yeah, the depth is working really well. I see a doorway up. I am a vagabond out in the world. Man, that's like 20, 30 feet back. <laughs> that sounds great. I am a woman grown from a girl, and I've never been on my own. Um, well, here, you, you want to sit and listen? M my suggestion, Chris, yeah. you go ahead and listen for a sec to that. I think we should rake them forward. Yeah. Um, yeah. Here you go. Yeah. I'm, uh... Now, is, is there like, can you adjust Yeah, we'll those? show you how to do that. Okay. Yeah, there's adjustments on it. Okay, and great. What, what we'll wind up doing, Jim, is we'll set it back and there's, there's little tiptoes on it. So take that off. And then it kind of rakes it forward. Then you can, uh, using some of the tools with the, you can pull it up, you know, however we want. Okay. But where you're seated and where these are, the tweeter needs, to, because of the room's deadness, we really need to focus some more of that tweeter energy on you. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to watch, Jim, and I'll show you? Yeah, yes, so sir. we have about a little over a half inch of adjustment without okay. doing this, but we can also get another... Uh, bit just by removing the little there's just a little, there's a little half inch there. tip on, on the bottom okay maybe you could yeah so this is a lock nut here on the top and then we can extend the spike down so if you loosen this you can then adjust the spike and then tighten it into place yeah so it's just like a pretty simple yeah. adjustment for the height and the yeah. rake yeah it's a threaded base and then a lock nut on the top okay yep are we putting the slider back under it? Oh, yeah, we probably should. Yeah, put the sliders, because we may be moving it around. These sliders really okay. help. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a 
<laughs> the speakers sure disappear nicely. Don't they? Yeah, it's uh, they're doing the th they're doing their thing in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can restart this track if you want. Oh, yeah. Let's try it there. Wait, wait. If he wants, yeah, we can. But let's just... You want to restart the track? No, it's fine. You didn't hear that track before on on your older speakers. What are you thinking? I, I like that. I, I, it, there's definitely more more bass. I mean, it, it, you know, these are practically brand new. You know, <laughs> they will open. These have not been broken in, by the way. Oh, um, okay. We we played, we tested them, and played a little signal through them. Uh huh. But um, you will notice in speakers in general, the as the suspension softens up a little bit, it slightly changes the bass response. Makes it a little smoother and more extended, typically, mm. because the shape of the knee right at the bottom changes okay. a little bit. The, I think they, they image really well. Um, I had my other ones probably a little further apart, uh -huh. um, so I don't know you know what difference that will make. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm, I may have had them closer to the wall, which yeah. I think actually bringing them out is... I mean, they they weren't very close. To, I mean, they're they're probably within six inches of where mm -hmm. these are. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, the the front to back spatial area is really good from what I can tell. So, you know, just just listen to that track so far. Mm -hmm. So yeah, sure. You want to put on some of your own music you're more familiar with? Sure. Why don't we try some of that? Yeah. <laughs> and I, I can leave that connected, so if we want to play your, your Cobus playlist at all, we can, we can bring mm -hmm. that up. Okay. okay. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I, I'm just curious about Jim's reaction to, because he's used to the, you know, to the rock ports. And, and <clears throat> you know, that's a, a great speaker as well, a little different perspective, so it's kind oh, yeah. of, you know. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah really a great, a great, great product, yeah. They, they do a beautiful job. Mm -hmm. The sound of the birds taking off scared you last night Though they were right to leave, right to use their wings to fly Too late, is it too late? Too early, is it too late? Too late, is it too early? Too early. It's funny, these speakers reveal so much that that recording it's like the speakers are better than that, re <laughs> that, that that's a, <laughs> you know, the speakers are better than the record <laughs> well it's that's, that's, it's a i don't know how else to describe it yeah, but yeah. you know what i mean yeah it's, that's interesting i've never heard anybody put it quite that way yeah. it's, well it's you know the, these will you'll be able to tell uh recording quality and also um you know what you put gear you put in front of them pretty well, sure. but th yeah. they're not a, a real uh, ruthless speaker in that they'll still sound pretty good. But it's just, oh yeah, it's just like also you'll definitely notice cable differences and and you know source differences and whatever tweaks you're making. Yeah, so that always is a good thing where you. you, know, you I, can, I really think that's a good yeah. thing because yeah. I I you know if I spend the money to you know and it's right. like yeah. you know do I, do I really hear it or not? Yeah, and if, if you get something where you can really hear it, that's kind of gratifying. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's uh but I liked the, the low end of that one. That was a, and and some of the spatial stuff. Yeah. The spatial, you know, these. I'm not sure why, but with break in things, even get a little better as far as. Um, I'm not sure if it's a capacitor. Well, it'll start. Or what is it? it starts to open whatever up. Whatever it is, more, but it more will definitely seamless. open up more. Yeah. So I would put a few days of you know playback on these, oh, and, yeah. and you'll notice uh, just like when you're not around do, and you're doing something upstairs. Um, my, my wife, she goes. 
Now, will these need to break in like playing all the time? <laughs> <laughs> we don't. We don't want to get and, you in trouble. And I'm like, well, if I, you know, kind of, if I don't have them up real loud, I might, you know, play them most of the day. And it's yeah. like, you know, it's the weekend, so you know, <laughs> yeah, a little background. We're, we're all right. Yeah. Um, but but uh, just listen to music over time too. But if yeah. you feel like you want to accelerate that. Um, Okay. But and the bass will open up a little more. Though the bass is sounding great in here already. <laughs> I think yeah. I mean, it, yeah. It sounds it sounds good. Yeah. I I something else I've I've noticed pretty quick was the sound sound stage off to the sides of the speakers. I can hear it more. Mm -hmm. You know, like stuff. You know, not just in the the middle, but not in between on, the speakers, on, but, but outside. Yeah, both. Yeah. I mean, just kind of pushes the whole sound stage out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And and even and even height, hmm. and I, I mean it could be because the speakers are taller. I'm mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, but you're noticing kind of height to the the to sound, the sound. As well. mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there's a sense of height is usually a good imaging thing too. Mm -hmm. When when you get a sense of scale in that dimension too, uh, so it's a big kind of bigger sound. <laughs> right. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely a definitely a bigger sound. Beautiful. I, I just I, when I was sitting there listening, I was like, I just can't hardly quit staring at it. <laughs> <laughs> you you thinking uh, grill on or grill off? Do you want to do you want to you want to try it with the grill on? Yeah. Uh, what do you think? I'm, I don't know. We got all the. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I don't think I ever put the Rockport grills on. I mean, I just kind of like the. <laughs> The look of the, all the, all the I, stuff. Yeah, I, I never put them on. They look kind of cool, but I I never play them with them on. Yeah, so that's. Uh, I like those just. Yeah, yeah they, they just snap, snap right on. on. Yeah, yeah, they're just magnetic. Instead of having to line up all the little holes, <laughs> that's that was the thing about the rock ports. If it did ever put them on, it was like you know. You yeah, know, and then you, you always it. worry about those. They break. Yeah, and one of them yeah. pops in. Yeah, these are magnetic. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you you kind of when you're looking at the thing, you kind of want to do the. You know the two thousand and one where the, you know, the apes <laughs> throw some bones going, in the air, throwing some bones in the air. You know it's the, the the monolith from outer space. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Awesome. That that just that the dynamics of it just So is yeah. this how you relax on a on a weekend sometimes is do a little, it is. Do a little listening. Yeah. In in man land here and in, yeah. in your cool man cave setup. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Especially awesome. in this chair now because yeah, when I bought this thing, I got it together and I thought I'm just gonna sit there for like I I kinda got squished down in it a little bit <laughs> and I went to sleep. <laughs> Job well done. Got it together. And yeah, my I wife, like is, she comes in. And she's like, it looks like it's pretty comfortable. And I'm like, yeah, it is. It is indeed. Yeah. Yeah. I had, usually, I had my ottoman up there. Oh, there you go. Like, what, do you have any questions, Jim? Yeah, yeah. Um, I was kind of curious on the other switch in the back. Yeah. What? Uh, it's that's if if we stick it too close to a wall, you know, some people can't pull a speaker out from a wall at all. It's basically mm -hmm. butted up against a wall. And what happens is that uh, the low mid range and bass get lifted up okay. by a couple dB, and um, it's not dramatic, but it's it's noticeable. And mm -hmm. if you feel like it's sounding chesty, there's a a switch there to pull that area down, okay, um, or really lift everything else up. It's so, a it's a boundary switch. Okay, so where are we set now? Is it like a neutral? Yeah, like yeah. There's there's a there's a far setting which is what we're in right now because we're not sitting right up against the wall. Okay, and so we're sitting in the default setting of the okay. speaker. But if you felt like oh it's too much in the low mids, we can you can adjust that. Okay. And then the other switch on the right, and it, so it says near far position. We're in far. Um, on the the right, there's that rear tweeter control. So we have that most of the way up right now, just because okay. the room is a little more absorptive, right? Because of the treatment you have, 
but that's a a little bit of a to taste sort of thing as well. Uh, it it kind of just gives you a bit more air and openness. Yeah. And okay. if you start adding your, if you replace those two absorbers with diffusers, um, I, I, you might play around with that. That might be a yeah. little hot. Okay. That. Yeah, well, it's you, nice that you can adjust it. You know, sometimes playing um, certain kinds of recordings might, if it sounds overly airy, yeah, you can, and, and too much zing. Uh, uh, you know, it's sort of above the, sibilance range it's sort of up further than that but okay. if, if you feel like it's too much you can always you know turn it down or off. okay now as far as any maintenance you guys recommend or anything or you know the speakers sound a little better with time um you know just they open up just a little bit as far as softening suspension and woofers and stuff mm -hmm. they're pretty easy to maintain um if you ever get real crazy on the volume control and blow a tweet or something i think it's pretty unlikely but um, it's four screws, and that's what those Allen wrenches are for there. Oh, okay. And um, same with the woofers and PRs. The, the, I can show you how to get to them if you want. Okay. Um, but no, there's... there's Hopefully I never have to. No, there's basically no maintenance. <laughs> and also it's something we can handle from yeah. our end. But I mean, someone, and again, these things will play up to, geez. Yeah, you're, hearing how you listen, I don't think you're, you're never... You're just tickling <laughs> them, you know? There's not... You're never going to be yeah. into the point of damage. Yeah, because uh, it's it's yeah it's way up there level wise. Okay. Um, but because we're playing, you know, the better part of a watt into them right now, you know, and these things are. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I I I mean I've I've had a a friend when I had the rock ports and yeah. he had the volume control. It was like up to about seventy five. Yeah. Which and it was just like oh my god how yeah. are you? <laughs> yeah, right. And, but I mean it sounded. They sounded good, yeah, but, yeah, and it, yeah, they, sure. you know, it wasn't distorted, but it right. was just super loud. Yeah, so you know, for the high-end audio thing, is not necessary about let's play it super loud, but these right. can, you know, if you ever get to that point where you've got to show off to your buddy and <laughs> have him over and blow his hair back a little bit, yeah, uh, then uh, yeah. you can do that. Yeah, yeah, but no, there's no maintenance. It's a passive device, and okay. it'll last, you know, yeah, forever, forever. Did I see a video or something where that? That front piece comes off. Yeah, yeah. I can, I can show you real quick. Okay. Like. Yeah. So yeah. You, you shouldn't ever have to do that, but if you if you want to. Um, oh, okay. So this is made out of a uh, a fiberglass resin material um, that has uh, tropical yeah chopped glass and resin and stuff. Okay. And then it's piano gloss painted. So this. Uh, it's how you would access the woofers if the, someone, you, you likely would never, you know, r remove them, but that's how one would. Okay. Um, and um, this is actually, you know, sets right back in through these these holes and then just presses into place. Um, okay. Yeah, so that's it. Same with uh, the bottom one and the mid tweeter. So you can actually see behind here. Um, But this is actually the, the, the planar mid-range unit. Okay. And um, it fires through a short acoustic waveguide. And then oh, the, okay. the tweeter here also has its own integrated into the baffle Oops. here. I'm sorry. That's all right. Yeah, so this Just is sneaking a... in here. Yeah, it's a, a planar magnetic 10-inch uh, mid-range. Mm -hmm. And so that's that's what's making the sound there. But we kind of hide hide the, the bits behind a little um, grill here. Um, Wow, but that's that's it. neat. Yeah, and then the only way that you can get to it. Yeah, if, you can. If you you have just to. try to make it as serviceable as possible. Same <laughs> with this guy. You have six screws, and that's how you would get to the crossover filter network and replacing you know this tweeter. Okay. Um, um, but again, that's something that you know if, if is not really a user service thing. It's just that's how it's put together. Right. Um, and you have again the controls for boundary and for. Uh, the rear tweeter level. Okay. Yeah. Well, Jim, <laughs> thank you. We just uh, uh, to, we'll we'll shut the camera off here and just just making sure you're happy. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm very happy. I'm extremely happy. I I really like them. Okay. I mean, they're they're beautiful to look at and they're sound incredible. So I'm. I, I couldn't be happier. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right. Awesome. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank uh -huh. you. Yeah. Thanks, Chris. Yeah, thanks so much. Mm -hmm.